Look at the size of this place. This is the center area of... <laughs> Okay, Hong Chi. I've talked about Hong Chi many, many times. They have the HS. Look at the size of this HS line. There's a lot of people here, guys. But that is a big, luxurious car. Look at the interior of this. I love these seats. This diamond stitching on the seats. Very, very luxurious. Uh, three screens on the dash. It's a common thing we're seeing. We saw it in Lee Auto. Uh, Lee Xiong has it. Uh, I know the new G Lee has it as well. It's really crowded in here. It's very hard to get a good picture of anything with so many people here. Uh, yeah, it's nearly impossible, really. But. Wow, Hong Qing doing a lot. Hong Qing doing a lot. We got a lot of lot of different models. This is everyone trying to get a, a look at the new Hong Qi's? These tail lights are really cool. That is insanely beautiful. What an amazing looking car gorgeous really impressive to see what they're doing that one is insane that's a that's probably one of the most beautiful interiors I've seen on a car Leap Motors is another one of those uh, up-and-coming uh, EVs here in China uh, I sat in this like little s01 sports car at the Guangzhou show and I really liked it I thought it was um, really really cool and not expensive either and they also God, there's so many people here it's crazy Aura is a EV brand by Great Wall Motors and they are really, really being talked about a lot just in the last few weeks. All I've been hearing about is Aura, Aura, Aura. They have all kinds of new cars. They've got designers that are former designers of Porsche. So you see a lot of German Volkswagen Porsche elements in their cars, but they market their cars as like uh, cats. They have like punk cats and you know, they have black cats and white cats and that's kind of their marketing thing. And these cars are really, really interesting. Look at this. I mean, these are cheap, inexpensive EVs. These are the two new ones. Now, this one honestly looks like an old Beetle. I love the way this looks. The interior of these two cars are fascinating. And of course, this one kind of looks like a Panamera. Very interesting. Let's see what they got here in Beijing. Wow, look at this one. That is huge. That is really big. But man, how beautiful. Look at that. This is the Arc Fox brand with the L4 autonomous driving. Yeah, so this one has the LiDAR in it right there. I've seen videos of this thing driving on the road. It's very impressive. See, they got cameras all over this thing. What's this one? This one's, I haven't seen this one. The Photon, Photon pickup truck. Okay. General, the sexy army girl in the trunk. That's pretty good. Uh, 
Of course, the BJ80 is the uh, copycat. Everyone knows it. They, they actually say it's inspired by the G Wagon. So they're not hiding it. And of course, right over there is Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Look at all these cameras lined up. <laughs> what is that all about? So here's the BJ40 with the top off. I kind of like it. Looks great. Oh, they're real. Whoops, I'm sorry. Again, I really like the BJ40, so. Alright, here's one I've been excited to take another uh, look at. It's the Hi Fi. Now, I can't get in to see it. They won't let me in to actually sit down in it. You have to like get a reservation and a tour. But this is an amazingly exciting startup car. The Hi-Fi is one of the most exciting cars to come out of China. It's very innovative, really, really cool design, super luxury, full of tech, awesome car. Wow, the Mercedes booth is beautiful. What an amazing job, Mercedes bid. Very, very cool. Too many people in there though, man. Ooh, let's move over here to Wei. <laughs> now, Wei is the uh, a brand by Great Wall Motors. They're kind of cousins to the Havels. And they got some new models here. Okay, what is this? The Wei Latte. Not yet. Very cool. This is new. Oh, beautiful interior. That's a lot of tan, man. A lot more luxurious. Way is supposed to be a position a little bit higher than the Havel. They call this the Macchiato. <laughs> I'm not a fan, you can see the graphics in the interior there. I'm not a big fan of that. This is really very small. And of course, they've got a coffee bar. That's cool to see. Mocha, latte. They got a bunch of new vehicles that they're displaying here. Wait, I'm impressed. But this is a good looking car, man. I like this. The way Mocha. Oh, this is the big one. I'm seeing these a lot, these clear TV screens. I'm seeing them everywhere in all the booths. Here's the Mercedes EQS. Very good looking car, actually. What's going on over here? It's all dark and sexy over here. What's up? Oh, they got something. They got something special over here. I don't know what this is. Oh wow! Wow! Mercedes does a great job with their presentation, man. This booth is spectacular. What is that? Oh, that's a funky looking little hot hatchback, isn't it? <laughs> I think there's another one. Yeah, here's another one over here. It's a little more consumer based. Netta. <laughs> Look at the fins on this thing. Interesting. Here's Sayak Volkswagen, more Volkswagen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you got the uh, Sayak GM. Uh, they make the Buicks here in China. Uh, more Sayak Volta. Sayak's huge. I mean, they they got this whole hall for they got Rollway over there. Rollway is very popular here in in Shanghai. I see a lot of Rollways on the. I mean, all the taxi cabs seem to be Rollway. Here's the new Escalade. I guess it's coming here to China, huh? Can you imagine this beast roaming around the streets of China? Jesus, this thing is huge. Oh man. They've got the old 1935 Suburban up there. Wow, that's so cool. And it looks like they're gonna be selling the Suburbans and even some pickup trucks here in the future. Look at the rooftop tent on this day. That's really cool. I like that one a lot. Boy, these new Suburbans are just giant. Oh man, they're enormous. Of course they have the Tahoe here, but over here, they got the new Corvette. I mean, I know electric cars are all the rage and everyone wants a Tesla and everything, but I will happily take a Corvette over any of them. They got the original 1953 Corvette up there. It's like navigating a forest of light pillars. <laughs> it's insane. That's a Buick. <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right, like I said, a railway. Looks like they got some VR stations here. There's all kinds of things to do other than look at cars. You do all kinds of crap. But I said Rollway is very popular here in Shanghai. I'm very uh, surprised to see how many Rollway cars there are here. All of these companies, Rollway, MG, uh, I think the, the IM, uh, the Sayak Volkswagen, Maxxis, these are all Sayak. It's one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. Look at this little tiny thing. It's an ice cream car. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's an ice cream car. <laughs> That's crazy. Maxxis has the two story. I saw this one in Guangzhou a couple months ago. I should have a um, Maxxis pickup truck here somewhere. MG is a brand that's kind of seems, feels like it's a little lost, but look at this, oh, look at this. Hey, look at this car, the brand does not look lost. That's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, here's the Maxxis pickup. I've been waiting to see this one. So this is the first pickup truck I've seen with the dual screens like this. Feels pretty good in here. Yeah, the seating position feels a little low, but uh, yeah, very comfortable. It's smaller than the Great Wall. Wow, ah, look at that. That is pretty amazing. Whoa.
LS is looking good. It's looking really good. This is the uh, hybrid. Uh, looks very impressive, actually. A lot of people trying to get an eye on the ILS. I'm more of a fan of the, the LC500. I think that sports car flies. You can't get much better than that. Let's go over and see Genesis. Genesis is the new luxury brand from uh, Hyundai, and uh, they're supposed to be really nice. Oh, check out the sports car from Genesis. Wow, that's like a, a touring coupe. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I don't know if this is real wood, but let's check this out. You can draw. Wow, I, I didn't spend too much time in Genesis, but I gotta say, very impressive. Hyundai's come a long way, haven't they? Yeah. Here's another brand that uh, I've never heard of. My first time seeing this one. Boya, Boya, I think that's her, Boya. Small SUV, only one model, uh, but it's very popular. There's a lot of people here checking this out. Uh, and the interior has the three screens across the dash, which is becoming the, the trend in interior design. Again, I don't know anything about that brand, so I'm gonna have to learn more about this one. Uh, 1960s, 1960s E-Type. Very, very cool looking. That is just a beautiful car. Wow. Jaguar seems to have all the usuals, the E-Pace, you know, the F-Pace. Also a pretty popular brand as well as the Range Rover. Jaguar Range Rover. They got the Defender here, which um, I've seen in a couple of other auto shows in the past. Ooh, what is this over here? They got an old, old Land Rover. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is really cool. You know, even the color I like. <laughs> this is the Discovery. This is the baby one. Growing up in uh, LA area, everyone had a Range Rover, it was like the thing to have. But they were notorious for breaking down. Everyone said they always broke down. Pretty nice, I guess. I just, it's out of my price range, I can't afford this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, the Defender, very, very popular in China. Everyone wants to have a Defender, it seems. And you can see there's a lot of people uh, checking these ones out. They're cool, they're very cool. I'd love them, especially the two-door one. The Evoque, I don't think it's changed much. Yeah, see, this is the one I like. I like the two-door. That's the one I would get. It's got a soft top on it, too. Look at that. Didn't even know that. It's pretty good in black, but I really like this color here. That is beautiful. Again, out of my price range, I can't afford this stuff. Alas, I am just a poor teacher. Tank. Tank, I'm excited to see this. Now, I sat in this in a mall recently, oh, well, so this is a new brand, Tank. They have the Way Tank. And then I think this brand is called Tank. The active lifestyle trend is alive and well and growing. They have a hybrid one. And wow, they got some interesting stuff up here. Check this out. That looks beastly, it really does. It's very impressive. The model they have here on the ground looks just like the dog wolf. Or the way tank. Coffee bars are all the rage around here.
This is like a super luxurious one. Wow, look at that. They even, they even got a little robot down there. Next up is Lincoln. Of course, Lincoln owned by Ford and their partner is Chang'an Motors here in China. And their display looks pretty good. It's nice and elegant. It looks like something I would expect from Lincoln. What's going on over at Infinity? Let's take a look at them real quick. Uh, as you guys know, I used to own an Infinity. I had a G35 and a G37 back in the day. Great cars, I loved them. Yeah, it's just like more expensive uh, Nissans. QX55. There's not much going on here, to be honest. <laughs> Infinity looks pretty empty. Polestar, okay, so Polestar is uh everyone's talking about Polestar lately. I love that. That is beautiful. But this is straight out of Volvo and Geely. Great seats though, great seats. Yeah. We have a showroom over there and then like a secret hidden room with this car in there. <laughs> van conversions, lots of van conversions. Look, look at that seat. Oh my god, it's like an airplane, it's like a private airplane in there, man. Right? 